Can you recall what it was like around you when you were trying to assist him with other people? The uncle was very distraught. I mean, after I told him, I said, you know. And I started crying, and he grabbed me. He was like, please, please. And I started bawling. And I was like, then I came back across the street. My neighbors were out. Um, and they, I was crying, and I'm like, you know, typical nurse. I was beating myself up. I should have gone sooner. What if I would have been, I have been sooner? Sorry. What would, you, what would you say to people questioning like, your actions or anything? I don't really care. Did you see the other people who were shot? They were already gone. All I know is he's a 28-year-old male, and that's my son over there, and somebody is his mother. After learning of the rapper's death, bro, I can't even hold it together. I can't call Quay, I can't call Offset, I can't call none of these ninjas, he said, while crying. I'm done. I can't live like this no more. Designer also suggested he was retiring from music writing, I'm done rap, in an Instagram story. And say what you want. Man, y you can't help but feel real bad for people in situations like that, man. Like, y you can't help but feel some kind of sadness if you don't. You ain't really human, in a sense. But the shockwaves of Takeoff's death have also impacted beyond the music world. With Atlanta Hawks star Trey Young, former NBA baller Jamal Crawford, and retired NFL star Darrell Revis, among those who reacted to the news. No effing way, a shocked Young tweeted, while an equally stunned Crawford wrote, I can't believe this, RIP Takeoff. And, well, if you weren't up to speed, hopefully, now you are. I'm not even gonna go ahead and get into the whole, this is crazy, it's gotta change, and all that like I usually do because I know everybody knows that. But man, it don't get no damn easier. It does not. But anyway, we'll move on the same way we have to with every situation just like this even the individual ones in our personal lives. But we'll make it through it just like we always do, won't we? One day, <laughs> we won't have to worry about that. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Either way, you know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it anyway. We'll catch you on the next go round and we'll get you back up to speed with the whole, the latest details, all the latest updates, all the latest stories. But until then, be sure to be safe at all times, and we'll see you then. Peace.